the Megan the Stallion cameo. Yes. Never gotta heat me up, I'm oh, you are way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan the Stallion. Dial it back. Did you shoot with her? I did, and it was, you know, the best day of my life. It was so great. I was, I'm in a massive fan of hers, and when Jessica told me that was a thing that she had written into the script, I nearly died. Like, I just couldn't even deal with it. Well, I didn't get to shoot with Megan the Stallion. We obviously all snuck on to set that day, uh -huh. um, and it was remarkable. We were really kind of campaigning to get her on the show. Jamila knows her, so that was very helpful. I was just in shock when I met her. Like, she's so cool and she's so interesting, and then someone reminded me that she was 26, and I was just like, what? Did you have a twerk double for that? You're the first person in the MCU to have a twerk double? I wish I could say it wasn't me, baby, but it was me. That was you. That was me. But but of course, you know, then VFX takes it and makes it very good. Yeah, uh, yeah. no, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I feel like uh, Captain America might have a new competition Hey, he for should America's get that button ass. involved, yeah. Bucky is alive! That is America's ass. He doesn't drop it low. The he way will does. if he knows it's good for him. Yeah, if he's if he knew it was on the line. Right. Like, like she's really like this regal, smart, wonderful actor mm -hmm. and really funny and and just like powerful. Like what a fascinating person and artist to see. And Tatiana informed me that she did not need a twerk double. No, she didn't. And I hope they released the behind the scenes because <laughs> the dancing was much longer. And Tatiana came to slay and goodness, she is a freaking amazing dancer. Like, I don't know what, she gets on all fours, she's twerking, it's amazing. So if I have to leak it, I will. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. Talk to me about getting the tone of this right and the, you know, the breaking the fourth wall and just mm -hmm. the, the humor aspect of it. How did you know when you were like dialed in and, and, and nailing it? Uh, never, never knew that. <laughs> but, um, but the script, it was so funny when I read it, like the pilot, when I read it for the audition, I was just like, I was laughing on every page and I found it so relatable and kind of embarrassingly human. And that to me is where like some of the great comedy comes from is like these very real characters who are like on this backdrop of a huge Marvel universe, yeah. you know, that collision of like superhuman and just like regular dude is really fun. And the direct to camera stuff has been done so many times so well. And and so I definitely like watched a lot of that and it took from Fleabag and like Ferris Bueller and all these great references. But also there's something about Jen that's like, you guys are my buddies, come into my brain and let's like go on this journey together. Yes. Like she's hyper aware of the audience and she's sort of looking back at them, yeah, which yeah. is fun. So talk about the juxtaposition of having Jen have a career when we meet her, like a successful career, mm -hmm. and then having these superpowers and having like the interplay between her personal life and her superhero life. Yeah. I feel like there would come a moment where Jen might even be like a little bit jealous of <laughs> She-Hulk in a way. I think you hit the nail on the head. I think there's something about She-Hulk that commands like an attention and not a respect necessarily, but definitely a like less of a condescension mm -hmm. than she experiences as Jen when she has done so much work to get to where she is as a lawyer and she's so smart and so driven. But as soon as She-Hulk enters the room, like nobody cares about Jen. Which of the Avengers do you think Jen would like to defend in court? <laughs> Which would you like to see Jen defend? I would love to defend Bruce. I would love <laughs> to defend. I think that would be super fun. But we keep talking about baby Groot. Being, oh my gosh. Just because of the, <laughs> the discrepancy between a baby like Groot and her little. like seriously defending this little buddy. Because yeah, what, yeah. what did this little guy do? That's what I want to know. He's very little. He gets up to all kinds of he mischief. He gets to all kinds of, yeah. At some point, stuff. he's going to break an American law. He will break mischief. an American law, and then he must be taken to yeah. court. <laughs> Imagine the little tiny joke. I love it. <laughs> now that we're introducing all these like incredible actresses playing these incredible superheroes, would you like to see an A-Force team up? Would you like to see like you and Brie Larson and Florence and Haley like all kind of get together for a mini series or a film? Yeah, is this an offer? Cause that would be so much fun. It is. <laughs> I Kevin, would love that, come yeah. Come on out. Come on out everybody. We're when shooting you, it right now. <laughs> when you get FaceTime with Kevin, do you pitch him ideas like that now that you're in the world? Oh boy, no way. Um, I'm j I, we nerd out about movies. Mm -hmm. When I talk to Kevin, it's like we talk about movies that we've watched from like the 80s or 
the you know horror movies in the 70s like that's yeah. that's what we talk about i mean i know you can't say much about it but obviously daredevil has been teased charlie cox are you guys gonna see each other in court is it just a street fight maybe it's a little bit of everything there's a he's he's great He's really great. I think people are gonna love the stuff between the two of us. Were you at all disappointed when you realized that Jen has command of She-Hulk like pretty quick and didn't get to like rampage and <laughs> you know figure it out? And no, I I love that because we've already told that story mm -hmm. of like not being able to control your emotions or like not being able to deal with them. And I think it is like very um, astute that a woman who is faced with this like massive experience where her emotions would take over her and she would lose consciousness, but actually she's just very good at dealing with them because she's been doing that her whole life. That that to me is a really smart observation and super fun to play. Is there a moment from a previous MCU film that you would like to have seen Jen in? Hmm, that's a really good question. The one scene I always think about is Thor hanging upside down in the beginning of Ragnarok. Mm. Not that I want Jen to be there, but I just love that scene. <laughs> I would just have loved to be on set for that day because it, Tonally, that's insane. Like, I remember just being so blown away that, that they were doing that. Yeah. Like, it was just such a great reversal of, you know, this sort of, like, God-like yeah. guy. It was great. What was your reaction, like, the first time you saw your face on She-Hulk's body? It was amazing. Because because the VFX is so good. Like, it really, you really can see her breathing and thinking and, like, blinking. And, like, it's not that, like, weird Uncanny Valley thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's super clearly a person and and that to me was so bolstering it made me feel like i could do any amount of nuance and it would be picked up by the vfx artists and they would like make it clear you know yeah. what i mean the tech is amazing yeah yeah, yeah there, i mean there are there's like there's scenes where with your eyes you're like explain like the book of human laws where yeah it's like, yeah there's little thing i was like oh my god that's your face that yeah is for your sure. face on that body for but even when she hulk is introduced to the public we get a brief glimpse of sort of this like toxic male fandom that's just so prevalent why was it important for you guys to address that in the show. Well, I think Jessica knew that, you know, as soon as there's a female superhero, it's like there's so much commentary on like, why her? Why a woman? Why not blah? Why not blah? Mm -hmm. You know, so she foresaw what was gonna happen when this show came out. And so the like the meta elements of this show and of Jessica's like ability to foresee how it would be received, uh, it's it's exactly it's like right in the the pocket of She-Hulk, you know?